In the late 1850s and 1860s Sands painted biblical, mythological and literary subjects. He was great friends with Rossetti and his female portraits were often inspired by his work, with hints of sexual desire. This painting is connected to an illustration Sands made for the periodical once a week in 1866. Entitled Helen and Cassandra, the scene showed Cassandra berating Helen as Troy Burns in the background. Helen chews on a lock of hair in the manner of a spoiled child. This composition portrays the same sulky sideways glance and lowered forehead as seen in the illustration. As legendary beauties go, few are as legendary or as beautiful as the mythic Helen of Troy, who became the cause of the Trojan War. But who is this Helen? Was she really worth losing a city over? Turns out there's probably a lot of weird stuff you don't know about Helen of Troy. If you didn't know anything about Helen of Troy, you could probably assume two things from her name. She was called Helen, and she was from Troy. Well, only one of those things is true. It would actually be more accurate to call her Helen of Sparta, because she was born, raised, and married there. And to be fair, some people do call her that. Helen? Helen of Sparta? As the Encyclopedia Britannica explains, she didn't go to Troy until the Trojan prince Paris took her there as his prize for picking Aphrodite as the winner in a beauty contest. In fact, her presumed father was the king of Sparta, Tyndarius, and her first husband was also the king of Sparta. Legend says Tyndarius once forgot to make a sacrifice to Aphrodite, and as a result, she cursed his daughters so they would be doomed to leave their husbands and marry multiple times. That fate applied to his stepdaughter Helen, as well as his biological daughters Tamandra and Clytemestra. The latter not only left her husband, but in fact stabbed him to death in the bathtub. Sands, born Anthony Frederick Augustus Sands at Norwich, studied under his father Anthony Sands, a drawing master and portrait and subject painter. He was educated at Norwich Grammar School and at the Government School of Design at Norwich. An early patron was the Reverend James Bulwer, rector of study and a former pupil of Cotman. Sands made architectural and antiquarian drawings for him and etched his drawings. <laughs>